Hello everybody, it's your boy Dude with Dan and we're back at the ambulance build series. Today we have a lot of work to do. We've got framing to do, we've got some shelves to build, and I'm gonna weld up and fabricate a gray water tank. And that's really just about it. We don't even have a sponsor for today's video. But it's a good place to let you know that you can get 10% off all Heatwave Visual Sunglasses using the coupon code Dude with Dan. Now that we got the intro out of the way, let's just jump right into work. Did we do a thank you to Icon? Thanks for sending this out? Yeah, we did, but I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think we did. Besides an Instagram post. That is 23 by 45. 23 by 45. We need to build a frame. on a couple times, but hey, you know, wood's still good. Wood's good. Wood's wood. Same, same. Same, same, but different. You think people are gonna know that reference? I mean, they have to be. Especially like the type of lowbrow shit some of my fan base is into. They're gonna know that. A bunch of degenerates. Yeah, bunch of fucking homo sapiens. That one's gonna be offensive to people who are... Non-human? Dogs or some shit. Canceling everybody, dude. Cancel culture getting everybody. They tried to get in in, in, in in recently. This wood's a little dirty, but it's good. It's good wood. Same, same. Don't wanna be your monkey wrench. See the video where the guy goes up on stage and uh, what's his name? The artist from that band. Was uh, that Foo Fighters? That's Foo Fighters. Fighters. Man, I'm gonna get so much shit for that one. I'm not, I'm not like that kind of rock guy. Like, I miss that whole era of like Foo Fighters, Metallica. Like, I kind of don't like those bands. The Foo Fighters are good. I like the, like, the music by the Foo Fighters is good, but like, it's just not my music. There we go, it's not my music. Keep going, do you? Keep going, you denounce my favorite band, Metallica. Yeah, 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 ooh yeah, yeah, Metallica, yeah, what, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm fucking talking about? That's all radio rock to me. Radio rock. Yeah, like I even throw like corn and Slipknot in there. Yeah, they definitely have fallen in there. Anything that has like a, a commercial that plays at 2 a.m. and says, you get on these classic hits, and it's like Avenged Sevenfold and fucking Slipknot and- Five Finger Death Punch. Oh yeah. Now not, not like Motorhead. I like Motorhead. I like Motorhead too. The Ace of Spades. Name two more songs by Motorhead. No. <laughs> but how about you mind your business? <laughs> That shit was a new level of board. Wow, look at that shit. I'm gonna call in a buddy of mine. 15,000. Okay, cool, thanks. So how much you want for it? 15,000. 15,000. Gimme, gimme. Mm, best I can do is six. I'll give you like five dollars. Are you kidding me? I gotta sell it, I gotta make a profit. Poor Rick. Nobody understands his plights. Cause YouTube is like, hey, let's recommend some really old shit. Cause YouTube wants to be like TV, and TV wants to be like YouTube. Go figure. Unstoppable. All right, so now it's time to hinge the whole thing. So I'm gonna do this pretty basic. I'm gonna emboss one of the hinges into the uh, into the frame. So I just need to figure out where I'm gonna do the hinges. I'm only gonna use two on this because I don't think it needs more than two. Let's do one there, and we'll also do another one here-ish. And then it'll open like that. Okay. 
and then I'll probably use my router or other similar tools to cut this out perfectly. The question is, do I use my router or do I use my new tool? I think I'm gonna use my router. That seems like a safer bet. That's a nice wooden box. Nice little wooden box for my router. So we just need the right tip. Oh, I didn't know I had a slot cutter bit. That's nice. Uh, Travis Barker was the drummer on this. Yeah. What does Travis Barker do? Blink-182. Oh, yeah, that's right. Is he the, is he the alien guy? He's, no, that's Tom DeLong. Fuck. Tom DeLong is the reason why we have um, all the info we do now. It makes me so happy, though. <laughs> yeah. To, uh, little Randy Boy rope. Loud. It's real loud in here. I mean, it doesn't have all the supports yet, but. Yeah, once you have the site, the one on the above that pull out drawer. Just... That's a neat little tool, man. Yeah. Flimsy. I might do some some supports on the bottom, kind of like I did this X, maybe like one or two more, but I think for the most part that'll work. Look at that. That's way better. Yeah. That'll be how you service the, now the water tank will fit. <laughs> the first time I built it, hinges or something, or science. to reach down here and we're going to give it the lift and now we know how to get to it. Yeah, you know we have a we have a spare hinge. Yeah. Am I like hinging that to the floor oh. would probably fix that. There's no need to do it right now. But hey look at that. Look I'm pretty, at that. pretty happy with that shit. Mamma mia. Mamma mia it's a me, Peter penis Parker. I'm happy with that though. Yeah. You like that? I like that. Oh yes daddy. Um Vans and Rock and don't. Just don't. Don't. <laughs> Just don't. You know what they say when the van's abandoned? Don't. What's your favorite thing? Uh, Just not. Just not. Just not. What do you do? I don't. You think you'll ever? Probably. Probably not. Yeah, boy. Ah. Ha ha ha. Ooh la la. Oh, are you good at woodworking? We want one, right? <laughs> yes, I am. I'm so good on my dog. All right, one of the things that's been bugging me on how I want to do it is the shower floor pan. Now, I know it sounds just as easy as drilling a hole and making that the bottom of your drain, 
And for a lot of people, that's gonna work 100% fine. But Ham expressed a concern to me. He said that he doesn't wanna have water pouring out the bottom of his ambulance every time he takes a shower. Especially if he's trying to like camp somewhere low key and it's trying to be like a low key off grid kind of deal. He doesn't wanna have to take a shower and water just be pouring out from underneath it. We have a sink, which is also gonna need to, to drain somewhere. So that means we need to create like a gray water tank. I've been looking online to see if I can find like a, a plastic tank or an aluminum tank that fits in these particular dimensions that are also not that tall. No such luck. So I'm gonna make a gray water tank out of steel. I've got my 18 gauge or 16 gauge, one of the two, really thin, uh, really thin walled steel. You're probably thinking to yourself, damn, that doesn't make any sense. You can't make a water tank out of steel. It'll rust. And you're right, like under normal circumstances, but we're gonna coat this tank with a rubberized coating. Remember, it's only gonna have to hold water. It doesn't have to be fresh water. So whether or not the water's dirty doesn't matter because it'll be dirty anyway. And it'll be removable from the top. I'll, I'll explain it as we go, but uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So I got my ear protection because I'm gonna be cutting. I'm gonna be using my eye protection and my new cordless grinder. Has a freaking has a freaking guard on it. Don't worry about the brand, it's not important, they didn't pay me. Perfect. Very cool, Kanye, very cool. Uh-oh, it's too good of a fit, I can't get it out. Yeah.
All right, so there's a lot of this build that's really not that impressive to watch. For instance, let's look at this. I've got all these, this wiring harness done. You guys probably didn't give two flying shits about this, right? Like this is all for the LEDs. They have their own individual wiring harnesses for both the ambers and the whites on both sides, the backs and the rears. I mean, it's, it's a nuts system that uh, quite frankly probably looks terrifying. Now that I have a good understanding of wiring, it's not. It's really, I mean like it's a little, a little exhausting because like everything you do is kind of like, okay, we gotta fucking chase a wire. Because that's what I'm really good at. Like if I'm good at figuring shit out, like if I need to sit down and figure something out, whether it's something as simple how to use a specific tool or you gotta look up quantum physics, I can figure that shit out given enough time. It's what I'm good at. But with wiring, there's so much information, there's so much contradicting information because of like online threads and do-it-yourself mechanics like me, everyone and their mom has their own opinion on electricity. But everything I do doesn't need to be recorded. Over here, for instance, I installed this uh, exhaust fan specifically for a shower. So I'm gonna build like a little uh, intake or whatever that specifically sucks out all the humidity. And there that is right there, right next to the two lights. It looks, it looks fucking factory, right? That's because your boy is impressive. But it's like, how do you turn, how do, how do you turn this into something that doesn't look like shit, right? And the answer is you just gotta, you just gotta do work. You just gotta build. So I'll probably, you know, I'll probably mount a piece of wood here and then another piece of wood here and then, you know, make this sectionable, stuff like that. But my point is, is that all that stuff, all that little detail isn't imperative to the videos, but I also don't know where to draw the line on what's too much and what's too little to record. But just because showing everything isn't necessary doesn't mean I'm not gonna try to be a little bit better about it. All right, now it's time to make the frame for that stupid little uh, air vent thing. So that should just, looky there. It's like exactly what we wanted there. All right, isn't that freaking perfect? It's like the perfect frame for what we need. I'll use some spray insulation through the corners here to make sure it's nice and airtight. We'll coat this with a type of uh, water resistant, humidity resistant paint, and then that'll be done. <laughs> All right, with the way that I have this set up now, I've got these, these barriers. I'll put a blank piece of wood that goes over this, and what I'll do is drill into here, put some receiving like rib nuts or, or whatever the equivalent is for wood, I can't remember. So I'll do some threaded inserts along the wood, all over the place, so that way this whole panel will be removed, or removable, and then all the wiring behind it will be accessible and serviceable. This is one of the parts that I do want to focus on in this particular video is that I want to focus on like the, the overcoming like the weird things. And that's what I'm going to kind of focus on in this video is, is overcoming like the weird stuff, the small stuff, overcoming the small stuff, right? Because we've been framing out this bathroom and we've got pretty much the whole rest of the ambulance framed out. We know where everything's pretty much going to go, but it's those small minute details that make it really hard to get everything where you want it to be because it's really easy to picture the big picture. The small stuff is what I always get hung up on. And this is one of those awful spots in the ambulance where it's like, we're gonna lose space in this no matter what. If we if we wall this off, we're gonna lose arm space here. And when we wall this off, you're gonna lose a little depth here. And that might not seem like much, but it starts to add up once you start closing stuff off. So I start looking at this and I was just gonna do a flat wall here, but I started thinking, you know, like, shit, we have the space, why not utilize it? The thing I'm gonna do is put a little beveled shelf in here that can kind of sit back and probably have a little lip on it. So if he needs to put some standing up stuff, he can, or or maybe like bars of soap. Toothbrushes, whatever goes in the, maybe like a toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, you gotta find places to put stuff even in the bathroom. So, so that's what I'm doing here.
since I'm in here just kind of doing piece here and there, now I'm starting to finish some pieces up, getting ready to put them in forever. It's time to start like finishing them, you know what I'm saying? So I'm building this little inner shelf here for the uh, inside of the ambulance, and obviously I'll have to, uh, you know, I'll have to sand everything down and fill all the cracks. But I've also left me this little gap right here that I'm gonna cover with a piece of trim that's going to allow lighting right from this little RGB strip and that's gonna light up this little box in the shower. And you're saying to yourself, Dan, are you really gonna be putting RGB lighting in the bathroom? Like, are you that serious? Yeah, fucker, like that's, I've been trying to tell you guys, like this is how serious I am about putting lights everywhere. And it's all gonna be covered with trim bits so you'll never see the lighting, but it'll be shining down like that. A nice little trim bit and that's gonna shine the light in. Crazy, I know, but like I've been talking about this like ever and no one's really paid attention to me. So, I mean, it is what it is. All right, now I hit the back of this uh, with some rubberized coating. That's gonna seal in all the wood, keep it nice and waterproof. I will paint over that, but I just wanted to do the backside because that's where I, I want to keep all the humidity and the steam from going. But essentially, I don't want it to rot the wood from the backside, so I want to make sure that the back was covered. And on the topic of saving space, I think I'd like to build a nice little cabinet that sits in here as well. Or not necessarily a cabinet, but a uh, maybe more like a spice rack that Ham can have. So that way he can have, you know, maybe one, two, three, three shelves with uh, maybe like a little wire bar that goes across to prevent things from falling out. I'm not sure. Let's mock something up. Kind of notch this area out where the shelves will kind of sit and I still have to do like an under support and whatnot <laughs> but like I said the lighting's gonna be in here you'll, you'll be hidden here so you won't go see it so still need to cut a strip for the top so you gonna have light behind it and I still need to drill the holes for the wires on the back side of the shelves which will be really convenient so I'll just run all the wires for this kind of up above here and then through here all right that's how those are gonna sit in there that's not bad I mean I still gotta Still gotta do a little bit of fit and finishing on the uh, the shelves, but that's essentially how they'll work. They, have, they do have a, like a very, very small lip right there on the front. I'm also gonna probably put some uh, like a steel wire across the front or like a uh, like a steel dowel that goes across to like keep stuff from falling out if he's got, you know, tall stuff down here, you know, whatever, you don't want it to fall out. That still needs a little bit of work. And then over here, look at this. I mean, it wasn't like fully done drying, but I wanted to see how, how it fit after I got everything kind of like put together and it seems to fit quite nicely. That'll be his uh, his shower shelf for like some of his shampoos or maybe like bars of soap or, or you know, maybe toiletries is just one of the options that he's gonna have. Uh, I'm also gonna build something very similar for over here. So I still need to figure out a way how I'm gonna mount this where it'll be nice and, and removable and whatnot. I still need to build a little panel and a cover for this vent over here that'll be the same dimensions as this piece so it'll be nice and flush as well. But that is looking really good. Oh, and I also, I don't know if I showed this, but I put in this patch panel, I put in this panel up here, and I also put in this panel down here. And I know this episode wasn't exactly as long as, as most of my other episodes are, you know, specifically because like two weeks ago I hurt my back and I haven't been able to do anything. And it, honestly, I'm still not like fully recovered. I'm st I still got like a bunch of numbness and shit, but, but I am doing my best to get back to work without like pushing myself too hard where I hurt myself again. I appreciate the love and support. I appreciate all the kind words you guys said to me in the last video, especially with the dually being back up and running now. But I've really been wanting to start working back on this thing mostly because it's like, I want to get it done. I want to get this badass project done. And now I'm in that part where I got to start doing all the small bullshit details, you know? Oh, oh I also got the uh, the wiring run for the outlet that goes here. And all that is going to go uh, above the door, which I'm going to have a nice cover panel for up here as well. Also, I'm going to be working on the dually soon. I need to start building the center console. Uh, the seats are almost done. Hopefully they'll be done this week. I'm just doing my best to get back to working right. So I appreciate the love. I appreciate the support. And I'll see you guys in the next video.